Hi everybody and welcome. Deborah Lynn here in the studio. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to change things up and we're going to work in a different medium. This time I'm going to be working with alcohol inks. I'm going to try to use as little of the isopropyl alcohol as possible. Um, you want to work in a well ventilated area. Put a mask on, put an N95 on, put a, put, what, put a respirator on if you have it. Just protect yourself. Um, and, uh, if you can work outside, do that, do that. The more open air that you have to do this, the better. Um, alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol. If you use anything less, it's going to take longer for the stuff to dry as you're working. So I recommend the 91%. Okay. So that's going to be coming into play. I'm going to be using specific alcohol inks okay you can't um you can't go out there and use watercolor inks uh for this what we're going to do watercolor inks acrylic inks uh indian inks uh, india inks none of that will work we need alcohol ink alcohol ink okay it's formulated it's a dye based pigment okay it's not like uh india ink that's actual ink okay that once it's down it's permanent this this is dye so that means when you know that something's dye based when it's dye based it has to be protected so we have to Put a UV protectant on it. We need to make sure everything's sealed before we go into framing and everything for these pieces. So we do have to protect things. I do have a really old alcohol ink um, tutorial if you wanted to watch that. I did that years ago before the pandemic and I was doing that in my garage. I did a huge canvas. You can do this on canvas. You have to treat the canvas so the pigments don't soak into the canvas okay they have to be able to sit on the surface and move around so I use a special product for that so you'll have to go in and check out that go into my um, into my channel and you'll see all the different uh, watercolors mainly but there you'll find one that is alcohol ink I did a wave it's really cool this is a ton of fun again I don't do a ton of this I do need to do one on canvas for my son so I'll be doing something a little bit more masculine for my son um, but today we're going to work intuitively okay but I'm going to be doing flowers because I love doing really loose flowers okay these are not going to be I'm not going to get into like blowing a lot of the I this could come into play it all tells I'm not going to get my blow dryer out I'm not going to do all that this is more manipulating um those uh, this pigment and this isopropyl with my actual brush okay um so I'm going to be more painting with it so let me just show you the one that I just did hold on here it's looking at me and there's different weights of this polypropylene uh, Yupo paper. This one's a little bit thicker. I don't know how many pounds it is. I, this was purchased years ago and I've had it and um, I had it in my stash here and I just pulled it out. So I don't know what weight this is, but I have, I have two that are a little bit thinner. So this is a little bit heavier weight, as you can see. It's a little bit heavier weight than the thin. Um, but this is what I did yesterday. So you get a sense of where I want to go, okay? And I worked really intuitively with the colors, okay? And uh, and what was happening. Because like watercolor, this is very... It wants to do its own thing a little bit, okay? The paper's slippery. Once you put the isopropyl down, it's going to create an effect, and you kind of have to work with it. It's kind of like 
uh, finding figures or images in the clouds or if you have like a, a marble or something and you see figures and stuff in a marble, it's kind of like that. It's like looking for those figures and then kind of building from it. So that's what we're going to do. So it's kind of, I, I say it's kind of working intuitively because we don't know what's going to happen. And we're going to kind of have to roll with what's happening here. So here, um, I did find something forming. I found some flowers that were forming. And I'll, I'll take you through how I go about doing this. They, there will be moments where I'm going to get really quiet on you, okay? Because I have to kind of get into the zone and kind of think things through. So there'll be moments where I'll be quiet with this, okay? And, um, and then I'll interject if, there was, if there's something to be uh, for you guys to know, okay? this back up here on the shelf. I still have to spray that again. I'll get a UV spray for that. I think I might have one. I might have to go out and get. Now you wouldn't want anything. You'd want a fine mist of something like this Liquitex matte varnish. Okay. Uh, so I would, I would spray that all over fine mist of that and then let that dry, and I might go in and do that about three times. Excuse me, Skitty. Skitty the art kitty. Okay, you need to get out of here, little girl. Okay, so, again, I'm gonna try to, I have a little bit of water if I wanted to rinse off my brush, okay? I have paper towels, I have wet, I have baby wipes, so I have everything. I have a box of, this is all kinds of inks, okay? Kelly Green, that might be kind of fun. Um, so I don't even know at this point what colors, magenta. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use. I kind of work intuitively with the process here. Denim, that's kind of cool. Um, and whatever goes down, then we'll dictate and kind of I will make decisions as I'm going along as to what to do. This is glacier. I don't even know what these colors look like. Like I said, I haven't I haven't played in this medium for quite a while. So I'm gonna work very intuitively. Um what's this? There's an orange. I'm just gonna kind of Pick out a few that are kind of speaking to me now. That's a watercolor and all kinds of stuff. All kinds of things to play with. Like somebody said, if the zombie apocalypse comes, they have plenty of it to play with. Okay. And I'd love to see your work, so come join me over in my Facebook group. You do have to uh, answer some questions. There is some, you know, things that you have to do to get into the group. So if you were not able to get in, there might have been something holding you back from getting through the door. Okay, because we have we're pretty strict with um, people getting in. I don't want any spammers. Okay, so I I just cleaned up my mess there. Okay, so I kind of went through the stuff of what I see here. What is this one? Rose gold. I don't know if I want to get into anything sparkly. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to put this to the side. So now I have my isopropyl. I, I, I have my polypropylene paper here. This is not regular watercolor paper. This is a plastic sheet of paper, okay? And this is a little bit heavier weight. There's thinner ones, okay? It's a heavier one. A um, little bit more substantial for, you know, mounting and stuff like that. So I've got some clean water here to the side. I have a whole bunch of brushes. We're, I'm just going to get busy, and uh, you guys can watch the process. Now, I do have my isopropyl alcohol here. I have a couple glass um, jars that I, I, I collected, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this down. 
not too much. And I'm just gonna put this to the side. As you can see, there's hardly anything in there, okay? I don't wanna use this that much. And we're going to get a brush. You can use your brushes that you have. Just make sure you clean them really well because they can stain up. This one got a little stained. I don't care. My brushes, if they get all stained and stuff like that, it, that's part of the process of being an artist is to have things that are covered in paint. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna glacier. We could start with maybe some glacier. I'm gonna start with the blue. I'm gonna shake these up a little bit because it's been a while since I've used them. Okay, years. That is a while. Okay, and I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna kind of throw down some glacier, okay? So that was very intuitive. I worked very, very loose with that. And as you can see, there's like little spots. And some of the spots you wanna retain, but we're gonna to need to break this up. So I'm just gonna go in. Um, this is just with an Escoda brush that I have here. And I'm gonna go in and just get a little bit of um, isopropyl alcohol here and I'm just going to uh, loosen this all up and have a little bit of fun. I'm also going to get a different brush. Let's see, I'll get my older brush here, just an old paint brush. And as you can see, it kind of loosens everything up but I just want to kind of get a little bit of color going down and then I can build from that. Again, I'm going to probably get a little quiet on you guys. This is just to kind of have a little bit of background. And if I go, if I take this and I kind of go like that, it's gonna give me some little spot effects. So I can go and do that. See all the little cells it's creating? It's creating some interest. So there's a background starting, okay? Let's loosen that up too. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab like a, uh, a brown color. This one is called, this is by Ranger, this one's Teakwood. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of drop in some Teakwood, just like this. This is like branches and twigs, okay. in with a little bit smaller brush and I can loosen some of that up. It's going to get noisy. I know it's going to drive you crazy, but I have to do what I have to do. And that blue and brown are kind of mixing to kind of make it green, which I'm good with, that's fine. Now there's a big blob up there, so let's have a little fun with that brown. You can see a lot of spinning here too.
And as you work, that isopropyl alcohol, it looks one way when you first do it, but then as it sits, it's going to do its own thing. So as you're painting, it's also doing its side of the whole process and creating cool effects, okay? So I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So anything that I wanna work on, I'm just going to go in, and if you've been watching any of my um, watercolors, you know I like to do this webbing technique. Takes me back to visiting Ken's dad's um, garden, where his garden was filled with spider webs. So that's kind of like stayed in my flowers. It's kind of become something that when somebody sees my art and they recognize, oh, okay, that's a Deborah painting. So I have my directional lines. You know, this can all change. It's nothing set in stone. Okay. So now is the next thing. It's like, I need to get more color on here. So now I have all these colors to kind of pick from. So what do I want to do? I've got denim blue. I have not used this. This might be kind of, I have no idea what this looks like, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. And you do want to protect your surface. The stuff will stain. So I have just some plastic that I put down. And now here's where the fun begins. I'm going to go in and now start building from there. Again, all of this may look really cool right now. It could change. So you have to know, you got to roll with what's happening. You can't get stuck on it because it, it will change. Your art will definitely change. Nothing stays until you get to that aha sweet moment and you say, oh, no, 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 not another step further. And you have to know when to stop. And I don't like anything too contrived because it just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of loses something when you get a little bit too fussy. Because we're trying to create some art here that's fun and unique. Okay, so I feel like it needs more, okay? It's not enough. It's still it's still really weak. There's not much to work with here. So I'm gonna to have to bring in something else, okay? So I'm gonna bring in another color. Now remember, when cools and dark, cools and warms mix, 
it can get muddy. So also keep that in mind. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go with some purple. And this, no, this is indigo. It's not a purple. Know your colors, Deb. That's denim. We already used that. I have no idea what may, um, monsoon is. I don't have a purple here. I know I have one because I put it in that other painting. And maybe it was a blue. Okay, so at this point, my room does not smell like it really does not have much odor to it because I'm using very, very little um, isopropyl. work with the pile that I have here. Indigo. I haven't put any indigo down. I put a little indigo down. That's got a little bit more purple to it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I still have that a lot of that alcohol, but it's getting dirty. That's okay. And I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this. I'm gonna pour a little bit on my hand. I'm just gonna flicker that in just to get some of that texture. I'm just looking for some of those cells. Loosen that up. You know what I'm missing is I'm missing um, I'm missing green. I need to get some green into play. Put a little bit of forest green in. Just gonna change things up a little bit. Okay, let's see. 
This is sienna. It's a little bit more orange to it. I'm going to be careful with this one just a little. Just a little bit of that orange. I don't particularly like that down here at the bottom, so I'm going to get a baby wipe. I'm going to wipe that orange off. It's okay up there. I'm just not, I'm just not digging it down here. So I'm going to kind of pull that off. It doesn't want to budge, so I'm just going to go in, get it wet with a little bit of ice purple, and then I'm just going to back that off. And now I can build on top of it. So let's do that again. Loosening up this green that went down. Of it all. This is a lot of fun. about getting things to move the way you want them to. I'm going to let this do a little bit of running. Keep building. So now I'm kind of, there's a flower here, there's a flower there, there's one here, there's one back here, there's two here, there's one there, and there's some um, that look like, like I could go like, oops, dirty water. I'm just going to shake it on there and not a dirty isopropyl. It's not alcohol. It's not water. Okay. Let's go in and let's just do a little bit of line work here.
interesting texture. This one is um, Parisian blue that it does not want to go back on. rolling with what's going on here. It's getting a little dry brushed there that up a little bit more. See it's it's looking real translucent here. I just this is kind of dead through the center. I still have to keep building color. It's still not quite right. It's going to take a little while. Trying to create some grasses here. And I think I want to bring some brown back in here. I need to build that up. I like the depth of all that that's happening. Let's get some more teak wood in here.
a little teak wood that fell in that. So let's add that to the center of that flower. And then this one went up into the petal, so we'll just turn that into some grass. So this is driving me crazy. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to loosen this up because it's not feeling right. And it got really dirty. I'm going to pour that here. It's got a little muddy. Muddier than what I wanted. It's going to be loosened up here. Gonna keep adding. This is passion purple. Just need something. Something's still dead. Keep going, Deb. Just keep going. Now we're feeling like it's starting to wake up a little bit. It just needed. Needed to get that purple in. Pretty. Okay, let's go in. I'm just going to shake some right down the center here. Break that up, see what happens. Oh. 
Oh, so pretty. Okay, let it do its thing. Okay, so it's starting. It was it was getting a little bit contrived. Okay, and then I had to go in and put more pigment, and it needed that because it was feeling a little bit weak. And pushing that purple really helped a lot. Um, so while that's sitting and doing its thing, let's wash my brush. I'm just gonna go in, drop it in some water. I'm gonna get both of these, clean them up a little bit. Okay, now I just have just a little bit of, um, I'm gonna dump that ice purple over there. Cleaning my brush. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit of clean in here. There is some dirty purple still in here. Drop that out. A bit more of that. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my brush that I just cleaned and I'm gonna dry it off, get the water out of it. Ugh, this purple passion is just looking fantastic. Okay, so where do I want to make my lines? So now I'm just going to kind of study what's going on here. It takes you on quite a little journey and you just have to figure out and you just got to keep rolling with it. And sometimes you think you got something and you don't. You just got to keep um, playing around with it. I like these. I'm just going to go in, create just a few lines, maybe a couple here. Just dragging right through that. Let's drag right through that there, even though I kind of like it, but I think if I put just a few lines here, it could be really cool. Now it's a matter of everything's kind of settling. We do have a lot here that's going on, but I like the depth of that. But if there's something that I could do, I'm just gonna go in with my little brush here and see what happens if I just drop in just a few cells, just to kind of break that up a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little texture here in that center. Okay, and I need to work on the center of this one. And I'm not liking how I lost my petals, so I'm just gonna go in and break that up a little bit. Create that flower. And I just gotta keep my brush full of alcohol. I'm gonna have to do here is probably go in and drop a little bit more for the center. Now we've got a really weird green that's it's here but it's really playing up a lot here so I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse these a little bit, activate them a little bit with them. Um, alcohol and see if I can it's pretty much dried. Doesn't want to budge. Doesn't want to budge. Okay. I'm going to drop in just a little bit more of that. This is that um, Prussian right there. Adding a little depth to the flower, wherever I think there just needs to be just a little bit more depth. They need to work on their lips. Okay. 
Now maybe a little bit of green in there. Forest green. I'm just going to put just a little bit of forest green in here. Looking really bright for the center. A little bit of brown, a little bit of the teak wood. I'm just gonna, with the tip of my brush, I just wanna make kind of around the flower. Just give a little bit of detail, not too much. I don't wanna overkill, because then it starts looking contrived. And the minute it starts looking contrived, you kind of lose that loose feeling. So that area, I'm probably not going to touch that. Now what I could do here is I could go in and I'm just going to kind of pull some of that color out. Build up those petals just a little bit with that green. Just want to pull a little bit of it out. There's a flower formed right there, but it looks like it needs just a little bit of coaxing. I'm gonna get my brush that's been sitting in the water and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna blot it and get all that water out of there. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with my dirty water. I'm just gonna kinda see what happens here if I wake that up a little bit. I'm gonna wake up that flower there. Okay. So now let's go in. Play around with that a little bit. I think I need some. I'm just going to put just a little bit of indigo here. So now I'm watching that indigo it's saying it's doing some cool things. So now let's just go in with my brush. Just kind of on these just ever so slightly. See what happens. There's so much pigment here, it doesn't want to move. I'm just gonna go in and grab just a little bit of it, pick it up it's really heavy. Just want to add just a couple little small. It's getting really dark there, so I'm just going to 
out of the shadows, I'm just gonna build that flower a little bit. I'm gonna pull it forward. There he is, starting to wake up. Okay, I'm assessing what's going on. It's doing its own thing. It's 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 brightening it up because remember it was like a big big brown spot. So just playing in that a little bit in the shadows, kind of it woke it up just a little bit. I might just go just add a few here. I'm just dropping just some interest of some whatever this is. It's just kind of coming over this way. My eye is going throughout the entire painting. There's this really interesting area. I'm gonna leave that. I think that's kind of cool. Now, my that I need to work on my centers here. I could work on this a little bit. I could put just a little bit of um, green in there. What do I want to do? Just put a little teak wood there. Let's put a little teak wood. Just a little. Not too much. I don't want it to go crazy. like it needs just a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna steal just a little bit of teak wood. I'm just building up these centers a little. I need to uh, make sense out of them a little bit. Okay, it's going a little crazy and I wanna control that. Don't want it to go too crazy. Now, as you notice, I don't go all the way around. I just do a portion of it, just to give a hint of what might be going on here. Controlling this petal a little bit. See what happens there. Trying to make sense of it. Might be going too far. Okay, so now I'm assessing everything that's going on here.
creating texture. That's all I'm doing for those centers to have some texture. Okay. Oops. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going to find a really skinny brush. It's just a skinny brush. Get my brush wet. Center there. I could do the same thing over here because it's like kind of like the same flower. Let's build that out there.
my centers. Beautiful. I'm going to work on that one right there. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, I think I want to do is just put a little couple splashes there carefully. Okay, you guys, well, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this alcohol ink tutorial. I had a lot of fun. I plan to do a lot more of these. I'll be selling these on my website, and that will be launching here in the near future. So look for that. Please come join me on Facebook. Um, I have a group over there or on Instagram where you can see where I'm creating maybe paintings with gouache or I'm working with digital or I'm using, doing all kinds of different things and not everything ends up here on YouTube. So please go check me out in those two, uh, Facebook and on Instagram. You guys stay safe out there, stay well, and may God bless each and every one of you. Bye for now.